Hi YouTube, welcome back to my husband's channel. As promised, I'm back with another owl crate along with Petrie. Say hi Petrie. Say, oh, oh. <gasps> Say hey, you're pre bird. All right, Petrie, I'm gonna put you up here. So this time around, I'm gonna go ahead and do two boxes. I have the December monthly box, and then I also have the December winter wishes box. That was an exclusive that I decided I was gonna go ahead and get. Well, buddy, can you leave my necklace alone? Yeah? <laughs> All right, let's try and hide that so he doesn't think it's there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started with our monthly subscription box. And I'm really excited for this one because it's a December box. I don't know if they're gonna follow Christmas. I don't remember what the theme from last month was, but that's okay. Um, yes, now I do, okay. So it's Love is a Battlefield, and so it's got this right on top. And then it's a spoiler warning, so we're not gonna go ahead and look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and take a lot of these little things off. We're gonna give some, some of them to Petrie so he can have some fun up there. All right, so let's see what we start out with. I love, love, love Owl Crate, hoot hoot. So it's looking like we have some Dame and Ch Chaucer, I can't, I'm so bad at this. Leg warmers, but look at how cute they are. Like, look at this. They got a little button on the side. Look at that, that's so cute. And they're cute and gray. I love these, I'm super excited. I like these a lot. So off to a good start, having a good time there. So what does this say? Owl Crate exclusive, juniperandivydesigns.com. Says on the front. So let's go ahead and open up this little bag, huh, Petrie? Let's open up this little bag. I know. All right. So it says, it looks like a little ornament and it says, some things do not have to be said. Love speaks for itself. And this is what it looks like. I think that's very pretty. Don't you? What do you think? What do you think? Ooh, you don't like it. You don't like it. <laughs> He's a little bit afraid of it, but I think it's really cute. And I think it would be cute on the tree. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna turn around and find a spot for it. We're gonna put it on our tree. Say so yeah, we're gonna do that. Come on, little bud. I know, come on back. There you go. So let's see what else we've got. So this, <coughs> excuse me. So this says it's from Fiction Bath Company and it says Ice and Shadows, Peppermint Woods Hand Cream, an Owl Crate exclusive. So this is what this looks like. So let's go ahead and open this up. Gotta be a little bit careful. Sometimes when things are a little bit smelly, they're not very good for little burb lungs. This smells amazing. I was a little bit nervous when it said peppermint on it, but it doesn't smell like peppermint really at all, which works for me because peppermint's normally pretty strong and I get a headache from it, but this smells super good. And if it works well, I'm all for it. Normally I'd put it on my hand, but like I said, with little Petrie and his little burb lungs, we wanna be very careful with that. So again, off to a good start. Now we have Owl Crate's pin. Maybe he'll come back, he might not, but that's okay. <laughs> you laughing up there, were you laughing up there? I heard you. All right, so we have Owl Crate's monthly pin and it says these violent delights have violent ends and this is what it looks like. There we go. That's a beautiful pin. It's got some really, really beautiful colors in it. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's see what else we've got in here. Petrie Roo, we got a really big box. What do you think this is? <gasps> it's a puzzle. Petrie, this is a puzzle. Gotta be very careful with puzzles. My husband and I like to do them and we can't really have Petrie out when we do them because he likes to pick up a puzzle pieces and run away with them and say, we can't do that. Say, we can't do that, Rue. No, we can't. So it looks like on the inside, it's just the puzzle pieces. I was wondering if maybe I was missing something. He's back because he heard the, the wrinkling of the paper. But this is what the puzzle looks like. So this is really nice. I think it's a nice puzzle. Um, I don't know who Elias and Leia are. It says, dance under the stars with Leia and Elias at the Enchanting Moon Festival with this 300 piece jigsaw puzzle with artwork by Tiara Lamado. Lam yeah, okay. 
I don't know how to pronounce names, but looks really nice. I like it. It's a cute little puzzle. I don't really know who those people are. So if it's from a previous book, I just haven't read it. So now we've got this next thing. So this says it's a decorative rolling pin and it's supposed to help add beautiful wintry decorative elements to your sugar cookies, gingerbread and icing designed with love by Michelle Gray. So let's go ahead. Can you help? Can you help? And you're just gonna tongue it? Yeah, he tried. So let's just go ahead and open this and see what this looks like. Oh, that's very cute. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I probably won't ever use this, but I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but it has all of these etchings in it. So it's got what looks like little twigs and little flowers and little Christmas trees. I think it's very cute, but like I said, odds are I probably won't use it. Um, I don't really make a lot of stuff with gingerbread or gingerbread type cookies or anything like that, so I probably won't use it. All right, so it looks like we're down to the very final item, and that is the book. So Owl Crate always does an, uh, an exclusive book where the author signs it, and they do a really nice cover. Um, I'm excited. This is one of the books that I was kind of really, really excited to read. Um, if I can get it open, I will show you guys what this looks like, but I am struggle busting it real hard today, I guess. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Come here, buddy. Okay, and this is what the front looks like. That's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then, like I said, it comes signed by the author. So you can see the signature on the inside of the book. It's really pretty. And then normally inside the dust jacket, they make it, oh, y'all have to see. I, while this dust jacket's really nice and the inside, got a little bit of a sneak peek before I did. Let's see. Ooh, that's very pretty. But I'm gonna say, while the dust jacket is absolutely gorgeous, y'all, this might be one where I keep the dust jacket off. Just look at this. It's beautiful. Look at the beautiful gold, and it looks a little bit worn, and just look at that. Oh, and the black looks so good. Just look. Oh, that's so pretty. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of really like it without the dust cover. But the front of this is really nice. I do like the inside and I think the inside artwork is really nice, but I don't think that I'll ever flip it around and have that showing. Just because I think that the way that the original cover design was is just, that's a really pretty book, y'all. That's so pretty. So in case you are unaware of what this book is about, it says, in glittering Shanghai, a monster awakens. So I'm just gonna read the first paragraph here so we have a little bit of a glimpse into it. The year is 1926 and Shanghai hums to the tune of debauchery. A blood feud between two gangs runs the streets red, numbing the city to its chaos. At the heart of it all is 18 year old Juliette Kai, a former flapper girl who has returned to begin her duties as the proud heir of the Scarlet Gang, a network of criminals far above the law. Their only rivals in power are the White Flowers, who have fought the Scarlets for generations, and behind every move is their heir, Roma Montagov, who was Juliet's first love until he betrayed her. <gasps> dum dum dum. Sounds very -o, very very -o. I was gonna say Romeo and then very in a game of Vario. It sounds very Romeo and Juliet. So I'm probably really gonna like this, especially if there's a fun little twist to it, which it looks like there is. Maybe, maybe some magic I'm hoping for. I like stuff like that. I do like romance, but I'm kind of very excited. And it does say at the very end, see, like I said, Romeo and Juliet, says in the spectacular reimagining of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, debut author Chloe Gong brings readers on a heart-stopping journey of violence, passion, and star-crossed fates. So I think that sounds exciting. I'm excited for this. So let's see if we have anything else in here before we get on to our next book. For our next box. So it looks like the regular design of the book is this one here. So it looks like it was a little bit darker 
and ours has a little bit more green to it in the background and it did change the cover from the silver title to a gold title. I think that looks really, really beautiful. So I absolutely love what they've done. Um, so that's what was in there, but this is what I was waiting for. And because I'm on Instagram, I get everything just early on and I get little sneak peeks, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm gonna be honest, I should probably just stop following their Instagram account, but it's just so cute. So I found out about this theme before I opened this box, of course, because I just opened it with you guys. So the next theme is From Olympus With Love. I studied classics in college. My degree is in classical civilizations. So I did study Greece and Rome very in depth. No, my degree is not just in the gods and goddesses that actually just made up like one class of my entire degree. So there is a whole lot more to it, but I did study it and I do like little spin-offs, even though they're not true to the actual origin stories, that's fine. I love the spin-offs anyway. So I'm actually really excited for next month's box. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of fun things that are coming in it. They give you a little sneak peek on the back. I'm really excited. I think you guys would really like it too, especially if you're into stuff like Greek and Roman. I think this will be a little bit of a fun spin. Everybody seems to like something about them, so I'm all for it. So overall, I think the December box was okay. I think this is the first box that I have gotten from Allocrate that I'm not super in love with. I think the book's gonna be really great and maybe because it is such a beautiful book and it, it's pretty hefty, like it's a, it's a pretty big book. Maybe because it is a heftier book and it is so beautiful that that's why we didn't get as much stuff as I have out of other boxes from Owl Crate. I do think that this is gonna be a really nice hand lotion. I will have to use this when I'm not around little Petrie, which is very rare, but that doesn't mean that it can't happen. So I will end up using this and it smells really, really good. I also do really love these. I think that this is great too. I, I love anything, socks, boot socks, leg warmers, anything. I think they're great. Always love the pin. The pin is absolutely beautifully designed. And I think that, you know, Iron and Ink Designs did a really great job with this. I think it's beautiful too. Um, I'm not going to really use the little decorative rolling pin. I think it's kind of a cute little novelty item. Maybe this is something that I gift to someone else or if I know someone who wants it, it's something that I might give to them because I just know I won't make it um, or make anything with it. So. It's okay, I think it's very cute though. I mean, it was done very well. The puzzle, I love puzzles, but I don't really know who these two people are. And I can't say that I would actually make it and then keep the puzzle. Maybe I'll make it, maybe my husband and I will just make it because we like puzzles, but I don't I don't know who they are. So, but that could just be me, again. I just started Owl Crate and this could be from a previous box, I don't really know, but it looks really pretty. It's just not what I was expecting. So for all of those items, I do think the December box was okay. I still think the book was just completely worth the box though, I really do. And I think all of the other items that I got, I still think that the monthly subscription for the box was well worth it. So well done Owl Crate again, but we're not done. I have one more box to show you. And this one is an exclusive. This does not come with your monthly subscription. This was something that I did have to pay extra for. And so this is the December or winter box, my winter wishes box. And this one I am super excited for. I thought that the sound of the book sounded really great. Some of the other items that were supposed to come with it sounded really great. So I felt, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. And again, it's books. So you spend a little bit extra on other little niceties that come with it. But at the end of the day, it's a book subscription box, so spend the money on it. That's what I thought. Did take a little bit of convincing from my husband. I don't like to spend a whole lot of money around the holidays, but I did it anyway. So. Let's open it up. You ready? You ready? He's just chilling now. Ooh, so the inside looks very pretty. Look at how nice and blue that looks. Owl Crate, look at you, doing well, doing well. 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Woohoo! Okay, so first item. Ooh, it was heavy, and then I thought it was going to be hard, but it's not. It's jelly. Close it up, my. Okay, so look at this. This is so pretty. So it is a cooling gel eye mask, and I think this looks gorgeous. This bag that it came in, like before we even talk about the mask, just look at this bag. This is the cutest little thing I have ever seen. I love this. It's got a nice little blue tint to it. And then it's got all of these little gold stars and moons. And honestly, even if you flipped it inside out, you'd get silver. So the bag itself is just super cute. So it says, use this gel eye mask as a way to relieve stress, headaches, and eye fatigue. Simply store in the refrigerator for 15 to 30 minutes until the beads have cooled. Oh, I'll have to show you that. That's a weird feeling. Use the adjustable strap to hold the mask on your head while you sit back and relax. Designed with love by Studio Lyra, I, Kyra. I don't know if that's a K or an L, so I'll let you guys see it too. And I apologize for butchering the names of studios, but this, look at this. I'm gonna read the quote too in just a minute, but look at that. You see those little jelly balls? So I thought it was weird when they said when the balls kind of go away, but now I, I get it. I think that's so cool. So it says she has counted time in seconds and in seasons in cold snaps and in thaws in uprisings and in aftermaths. That's cute. This is nice. I like this. I'm excited for this. Look at me. I'm already excited about the first thing and I'm not going to try and put it in the bag at this moment because I just want to see what's in the rest of the box. So the next thing, let's see what this is. Riddles Tea Shop, waking from a thaw. So this is what the bag and the packaging looks like. This is what the back looks like. So it says sweet sorrow and winter mint. So it is a tea. It says peppermint, decaf, saline, team, bunch of stuff, natural vanilla flavor, cocoa nibs, natural chocolate, mint flavor, peppermint leaves, candy canes. It said it's gluten-free, nut and dairy-free, and it is a decaf tea. And then it tells you how to steep it. I am not a big tea drinker. Um, I think that this sounds really, really great, but I don't know about the peppermint. I Peppermint can be really overwhelming for me. So someone who I know does drink tea, I might go ahead and gift it over to them. I'm more of a coffee drinker but it sounds great and it looks really pretty. Let's see, what else do we have here? So this is what this looks like. Looks really nice and it says, cold as snow, sharp as glass, hand poured in Connecticut. It is a soy candle. So, wow, that's strong. That's a really vanilla flavor. Wow, goodness gracious. That smells super vanilla-y and it would be really, really nice to burn, but little Petri dish over here. Poor little Petri, my little birdie bird. Again, small lungs, I can't burn candles, but that's okay. I can always gift this to someone or if I wanna keep it when we finally get into our house and I'm in a room that's way, 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 super far away from little bird, then maybe I'll use it because it smells really good. It's I mean, for something as small as this, it's pretty jam packed. I'm impressed. I really like it. All right, so we have another pin and it says a universe of wishes and it's a moon. Look at that. See, you know, I'm not a big pin person, but I'm honestly, I'm kind of really happy with the, all of the pins that I have received from them. And I plan to have a little pin board because I just think they're cute. So let's see what else we've got in here. I wonder what this is. Little, little baggies. Bookish gift bag set. Gift bags, little gift bags. I think that's cute and it's got little books on it. It's got little snowflakes and it's got the little feather quill pens. That's super cute. I'm not sure I will ever use these probably ever. I'm, I'm not a very big gift giver. I don't really like receiving too many gifts either. I don't know. I'm weird, but I do think that this is super cute. So maybe, 
maybe I'll get some use out of this. This is the first item in here outside of the tea that I'm kind of mm, a little iffy about, but that's okay. We're not done yet, y'all. We're not done yet. We still got lots to go. So this next one just looks like it's in a brown long box and I don't know what this is. Is to make cookies? <laughs> I swear, I'm so dumb sometimes. Um, I'm I'm thinking this is to make cookies. Tea and spoon. Tea and spoon. It's a spoon. Is it like a teaspoon? Does this sit on something? I mean, clearly it clips onto something. I don't know. I thought maybe this was like to scoop out dough for cookies because it looks about the right size. I could have used this when I made some of my stuff the other day. But I don't really... We're gonna come back to this just so I can make sure I know what I'm looking at. And if this is for tea, again, I don't drink tea. So you can't think I'm super dumb for not knowing exactly what that was. <laughs> All right, let's see. So it looks like my last thing in here before we get to the beautiful book that is at the bottom of the box there is this. And it says it's a mug. And I love mugs. It's part of the reason why I wanted this box. I just like mugs and all sorts of mugs. So I'm really hopeful that this is like a really beautiful mug. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. It's <laughs> I love mugs so much. It looks like a really pretty color. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so this looks like it's the front. And then this is the back of the mug. And I'll get to reading it. This is what the inside looks like. And it's got a nice little curvature to it. So it says, one day the wind would blow and the temperature would drop. And in the middle of the night, a frost would creep over my threshold. That's cute. It's super nice. Oh, I'm so excited. I love mugs. This is really cute. Really, really, really cute. So it says, bring me the winter king and I will make you a summer queen. Brew up a hot drink and get cozy with this beautiful ceramic mug inspired by Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Designed with love by Lady Chubb Letters. Well, Lady Chubb Letters, you did a great job. And this says that it is dishwasher and microwave safe, which makes it super great because now my husband doesn't have to get, guess which mugs can go in the dishwasher and which ones can't. So this is really cute. I really like this. This is so nice. I love mugs. Mugs, 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 mugs. I love mugs. Okay, so now we've got Natural Annie Essentials says, thank you for allowing us into your sacred space. We wish to bring a comforting smile to your face as our natural candles fill your home and lift your mood with our vibrant sense. So that's the candle. Should have read that before. Sorry, Natural Annie Essentials made this candle and it smells absolutely beautiful. And then it looks like I've got a 10% off code on the back. So that's kind of nice too. I like that. All right. Bum -bum 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 Book. Book, 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 book. It's a book, a book, a book, a book, a book, a book. And if you definitely caught my little reference to a muck, a muck, a muck, a muck, a muck, a muck from Hocus Pocus, you're cool, I like you. <laughs> so let's open this baby up and see what this beautiful book has in store for us. Oh, I am so excited. I just love all books. So it says a, we need diverse books anthology. And it says a universe of wishes. And it's got a bunch of authors as a part of it. So this is what the outside looks like. It's really, really pretty. And then let's open up, ooh, the inside looks really pretty too. I'll show you that in just a second. So it looks like this one didn't have an inside of a dust jacket like they normally do for artwork, but I didn't expect that because it was just uh, another box for another book. And so that's fine. But this is what the outside of the actual book looks like, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. This might be another one that maybe I take the dust jacket off of and then I just save it. This is what the inside looks like. See, isn't that kind of nice? It's cute, I like it. Ooh, that's so nice. 
So this says, Dear readers, when I was a teen, I wanted nothing more than to escape my boring suburban existence and fall into a book. Preach, that's me. Fantasy worlds and futuristic landscapes were my portal to grand adventures. I used to read two to three books a week, but I quickly noticed that the heroes of my favorite worlds didn't look like me. Oh, that's sad. After I grew up, I realized what I experienced wasn't fair. I needed to see myself on the pages of amazing books. I deserved to see myself as the hero. Oh, that's so cute. On Twitter six years ago, Ellen O and Melinda Lowe expressed their frustration with the lack of diversity in kid lit. In a series of tweets, Ellen started talking about taking action. Several other authors, bloggers, and industry folks piped up saying they would need to be, they would like to be involved as well. An organization called We Need Diverse Books was born with the intention of making sure that every kid got to be the hero of their own story. But I know, as does each of the accomplished writers within these pages, that's not true. Which is why this beautiful collection takes readers, all types of readers, to faraway castles, threatened spaceships, and every magical realm in between. Because the true magic is the writing itself. Writing that not only permits, but demands that every voice be allowed into every kind of space. Enjoy this universe of stories in a gorgeous first edition printed exclusively for Owl Crate. Happy reading. And look at the way that this signature looks at the very end. Do you see it right there? That's gorgeous. I love this. This was one of the reasons why I wanted this book because while I am someone who is in the majority, I, I am a white woman and I know that. Um, and I know that I'm a part of the majority. Even reading some of the books that I read growing up, I didn't always see any other diverse characters that were friends of the main character or anything like that. They were primarily white. It really wasn't until college that I was really introduced to books that had people of color or people of other cultures. And it was really sad because some of those books are my favorite books. There are some of my favorite stories. So when I came across this on Owl Crate, not only did I want the mug, but I wanted the book because I liked what the book stood for. I liked what these authors stood for. So I'm very proud of Owl Crate for doing this. I'm super excited for this and I hope that anyone who gets it or who didn't get it through Owl Crate gets this book because I think everybody, just like they said here, everybody's voice does need to be heard. And when you're younger and when you're growing up, you wanna see yourself in the story too. It definitely helps immerse yourself in stories. And I think it would get a lot more people reading too and reading's super important. So I love what this stands for. I'm in love with this whole book. I think it's fantastic. I think it's great. I'm excited to read all of the stories in it. Even if I don't look like that character, I'm excited to hear about a character that's different than me because I would like to know what other people who don't look like me feel. And I think that that's exciting. So get yourself this book. I definitely think that it would be great for everybody to read it and a universe of wishes. I'm excited for that. So overall, that is the end of everything. So on here with my winter wishes, it looks like it says tea and spoon. Going back to my spoon here, just says tea and spoon. So maybe this is a spoon for tea. I don't know. And I'm sorry if I'm being very, very blonde, but I don't know. I think it's kind of cool though. Um, I think I would probably use it for something else like cookies. But overall, I think my December box and my winter wishes box I mean, again, I've got to give a towel crate. I think they did a really fantastic job. I will say that my December box, I wasn't as in love with as I am, or as I was with some of the previous boxes, but I will say that this book that they put in there intrigued me more than some of the other books. Am I happy to receive the other ones? Yes. Am I going to read them? Absolutely. This one just seemed more my speed. So I really enjoy that. I think they could have upped the quality on maybe some things, but I'm in love with it anyway. The Winter Wishes box, I do think that it was money that was very well spent. While I'm not a tea drinker, it doesn't matter. I can always gift this to someone else. I have no problem with gifting it to someone else. And like I said, while I can't burn the candles, I could always gift it to someone else or I can just bring it with me into my bathroom, maybe when I'm taking a bath and light it then because Petrie doesn't take baths with me. So no, you don't come into the bath with me. The shower maybe, but bath, not so much. So. This guy smells so good. Gotta give it to 
gotta give it to them. But they don't know if I have a bird or not, so it's fine. The only thing in this box that I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of were the little gift bags. I do definitely think that there is a time and place for them. I think they could be very useful, but I probably won't ever get any use out of them. So that's okay. Overall, just gotta give another shout out though. Owl Crate does such a good job and I cannot wait for the next box for January. Like I said, the next box, it's gonna be super, super great. I look forward to it from Olympus with love. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great, you guys, I'm so excited. But with that being said, we are at the end of the video. Come here, little Roo. Come here, little Roo. Say, come here, buddy, we gotta sign off. He's very comfortable in my hair. He's all nice and warm. I'm pretty sure he probably went, he probably pooped on my shoulder, but that's okay. Say that's okay, he's just a little burblet. Say that's okay, he's just a little burblet. But all right, little, little Roo. See, look at him, he's so pretty. All right, little Roo, are you ready? We gotta say goodbye. Are you ready? We gotta say goodbye. You ready? You ready? Say bye, you guys. If you liked this video, don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.